Hello, Kim Humphreys. My name is Rich Rosenblum, your Garrison Fitness Coordinator. Back again to do another video segment. Today, we're going over the goblet squat. Now, the squat itself is the most common exercise you'll see done in the gym. It's also one of the most common exercises you'll see done incorrectly. So today, we're gonna go over proper technique and we're going to progress your technique so that every time you do it, it's on point. I'm joined today with Sergeant Greg Blackman. He'll be reviewing the goblet squat. And we're gonna start off with this 40 pound dumbbell. We're gonna start in a goblet squat position. So in our starting position, the dumbbell has two points of contact on our chest, the top and the bottom part of your sternum. Always maintain contact. If you do this exercise and you lose contact, you're doing the exercise incorrectly. Your standing position, Greg's a little bit taller, so he's gonna have a wider stance, that's okay. Toes should be straight ahead, as he squats, we're not, we're not gonna squat yet. Knees are going to point out, he's gonna sit back in his squat, his knees are not gonna come forward, he's gonna stick his butt back. Really focus on sitting back in that imaginary chair behind him. So, let's do a couple reps of a perfect goblet squat. Sit back, two points of contact, knees are out, toes are straight, stand up tall. And let's go again, and hold. And looking at his back, I can see there's one line from the back of his head to his lower back. His lower back is not arching. Nice flat back position. And stand back up. Excellent job. Let's go one more time. Down slow, up fast, fire it up. Excellent job. Let's put down the dumbbell, please. Now let's review common ways I see the squat done incorrectly and why the goblet squat will clear up any technique issues you have. So, one common movement I see done incorrectly when we're doing a squat is people lean forward too much. See it? Lean forward too much. If you have weight in this position, keep going. If you have weight in this position, leaning forward too much, more pressure on your lower back versus on your quads where you should feel most of that work. Also done incorrectly, when people come up on their toes, they have tight ankles, their knees come forward, they're putting a lot of work on their knee aside from their quads. So let's see incorrect positioning when you do a squat. Terrible technique. I never want to see that technique in the gym and we'll stand back up. I'm only going to do one time for that exercise. Again, the goblet squat will clear up some of these movements. If someone has really tight ankles, you can put their heels on a two and a half pound plate behind us. And this will lock their ankles in place. And let's do a perfect squat without weight going down, sitting back. This helps you sit back a little bit more if the person has tight ankles, and let's fire it back up. And just do one more. Sitting back, excellent technique, stand back up. So again, the goblet squat is a great exercise to improve the strength, size, and power of your lower body. It will improve your leg strength, meaning you'll have a faster run time. Faster, uh, stronger legs equals a faster run. If any other questions, feel free to come by the fitness annex. Just wait for the day, wake up in the morning.